No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do screen replacement in Share Factory without USB. And if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using Share Factory, plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff, then this is the channel for you. So please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay, let's get straight into it. So first thing to do is to check that you have the record replays on in settings and then go into a Fortnite game, find a screen like this and then just have a seat or crouch in front of it for about 20 seconds and then just stay still doing that. And then you can go into your, you can come out of the game and go into your replays in Fortnite and you want to move the camera angle so that it is on the central point of the screen like this so that the actual screen that you're recording is in the middle of the screen and that's going to make things easier later so once you've got the angle right you push the left stick to get rid of all the HUD double tap the share button to start recording record for 20 seconds and then double tap the share button on the controller to stop recording you want to be straight onto the screen so don't be at an angle like this because that's not going to work very well once you've done the recording you can come into share factory and you want to go into a new project and then get rid of these ticks here and we're going to be able to just start the first part, which is adding a screenshot. So you go to add screenshots and we just choose solid color. And then we can delete this spare clip at the beginning. So just square and then delete. And then we can use this solid color. We want to make that a bit longer. So we're going to go to trim clip and we're going to make that a certain amount of time. Depends on what you want. I've made 15 seconds. And then we want to go to settings and we want to turn this to a green color because we're in effect going to use this as a green screen. So you can use the hue up the top. I've got it set at the bottom down here where I've used it in the past. And so I've turned the screen to green. And then what we want to do from there, again, this is gonna be used as a green screen type of thing. So we're gonna to go to add a track to add clip. And then you just choose whichever clip you want to use. So I'm just gonna use a um, end of a Fortnite game where I got the Victory Royale. And then just trim the clip down to the same sort of size as the green screen. Now, I've got the green screen at 15 seconds. I'm gonna do this for about 10 seconds, just because you know we don't want it to be risking overlapping the green screen. So we've split the clip there, and now we need to just move the clip all the way to the left to get it over the green screen. So if you push the square button, you can go to move clip, and then just use the controller to move it all the way to the left so that it's then sitting over top of the green screen like this. So I'm gonna just centralize this so that it's ready for what we need to do next. Okay, so now we need to get the screen to be smaller. So we're gonna push the square button and go to pip layout and then go to center. And then what that's gonna do is move the screen into the center of the green screen. And so when we come out of the track two, then you'll see that it centers the video there and it just makes the video screen a bit smaller, which means that that's gonna be a lot more effective and easier to use when we are using it to put it over the top of our Fortnite recording from earlier. So then you push the triangle button to render it and then we go to share later and then we can come out of that project and then we go into a new project and then we find the, if we go down to, again, choose any theme that you want to use, get rid of the ticks here and then we can go into most recent and what we wanna do is choose the project that we've just had and then go into, you don't need to rename it, you can just go into continue and then this is the screen. Now you see it slides in from the left, we don't want that bit so we're just gonna split the clip we're gonna move across until the, the clip comes in. Once it's in, we split the clip and the same for when it comes out because it's gonna slide out the picture and we don't want that. So you just move that until it goes all the way uh, to the side until it before it moves, to the, uh, moves out of the screen. So then use a the D-pad to go back and then just split the clip before it starts to move like that and just delete the excess either side and then you'll just see we're left with the screen that's purely sat there in the middle of the screen which is exactly what we want so then what we need to do is just push the triangle button again and render this project to keep it as it is okay and then once that's done we go to share later and then we can come out of that and exit the project and then we go into a new project again. 
okay and once we're in that we again choose whichever theme we want and then you get rid of the text and we just want to find the project where we recorded in front of the screen in Fortnite. So we know that this is the project that we recorded. There it is straight away. So we just need to split the clip so that we've got the amount of time that we were recording in front of the screen. So just move that along till it just before it moves again. And then we can just push the square button to split the clip. And then once we've split it, we can just get it just right before it moves. Okay, so um, split the clip there, okay, and then confirm, and then we can delete all the rest of it, we don't need that. And then we're ready to add the green screen over the top of this, okay? So what we need to do is come out, and we push this cross button, and then we go to add track two, and then we can add clip, and then we find our green screen that we used, which is this one here. And then we can just put that over the top like it is. And what we want to do is push the square button and pip layouts and move that to center, okay? And then we can push the triangle button and then the cross button. And we wanna to go to green screen okay and then once we've got the green screen we could go to settings and check the settings now this is my settings that i've used for this time so you could copy that and then we come out of that and then press circle to come all the way out now again it's got the um slide in effect which shouldn't still be on there which is a bit strange so it might need to clip it again so before we do that let's just move it so that we're going to get in the middle of the screen now we can use the pan and zoom to do this so this is why you want the screen when you're recording the fortnite screen you want the actual computer screen there to be as central as you can and that's why we we did that okay when it's central we can push the triangle button to render that clip okay and then we'll share later and just for ease what we'll do is we'll just add the clip again so if we go to add clip and then add what we've just rendered and it just says starting up a new project and we're going to use this second project or second clip here to adjust it so we're going to split the clip because we don't want that bit sliding in and so you just go to square and split clip either side of where that um, screen slides in to the screen so that it's permanently on the computer screen and got that effect there okay so we do that from the beginning and for the end and then that will leave us with a project where it's literally just the screen on the computer, which is the end result, which is what we're aiming for. Okay, all you need to do now is delete the first clip and render the remaining clip, and then you can use that in your future projects. So let's see what that looks like. Obviously you can choose more exciting clips than that, but I hope that gives you an idea of how to add a screen replacement on ShareFactory. And if you found this useful, please do like and comment below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and turn on notifications and do check out the playlist because there's lots of ShareFactory videos that may be of use to you. So thanks very much and bye.